Transcend uh, means so many things to me, uh, but ultimately what this event is about is uh, transcending stories of foster children cared for by Presbyterian Children's Homes and Services. I've always wanted to do an event where I could pull multiple art genres together to tell stories. So it hit me, I thought, oh wow, what about the stories of these foster children? I felt like foster care was something that not a lot of people were well informed about. So just wanted to educate a different demographic of people about foster care and also about Presbyterian Children's Homes and Services. So essentially four genres coming together to tell each of these children's stories. So 12 stories, 12 collections, poetry, art, fashion, and editorial photography. It was really exciting for me to see so many artists come together that I didn't know and didn't know our kids and don't know our agency, but they just knew the cause and were willing to all pitch in together and donate their time to create these really incredible works of art. The ultimate goal with this event is to celebrate the positive sides of foster care. Oh, uh, many times people just assume kind of a, a negative reality that comes with that. Um, this event is celebrating all the positive, amazing families who care for these children and how beautiful and amazing and inspirational these kids are and grow into be. Transcend, live runway, live photo shoot, live art, magic is happening tonight. Here we go. So as the first model comes out in the first look, representing the first story collection of uh, one of our children, one of 12, as that model walks down the runway, you hear the backstory, the original story of, um, of that child. When the model gets to the end of the runway, the art ballet will pick up that matching painting and then follow the model back down the runway. So what's fun about this is the model's gonna do three stops down the runway so that the guests can really soak in and see the, how the fashion, the artwork, and the poetry are all telling the same story. Hearing Karen with her amazing voice kind of um, guide them through this amazing magical journey. If I could turn back the hands of time Bending time, I would turn corners, jump through the magical loops of mystery, just to find the words to make you feel all right. If I could bend time, I would squeeze through trees, tumble across the Serengeti, lap, sip, and drink the Atlantic, all to show you the depths of my love that runs deeper than surface to crust. The voided crater you were unfortunately given at birth is not yours to own. If I could bend time, I would store filled wishes, kisses, many ways to let you know your mist went away and spin them all into a woven baby's blanket waiting for you when you made your entry through womb to Mother's Earth. I'll wrap it over, under, and beside you to shield the eels, chills, and lack you grew to embrace as your heart home. If I could bend time, I would fall back to the day you laughed instead of cried, the day you accepted crumbs for love, to the day when you heard said you weren't good enough, would never be anything, and scoop you up to lollipop your ears, to hear the sweetness and softness of your developing heart.